when you have that one color in your cross stitch pattern where the cloth is just completely showing through none of the other colors are having issues but this one color is just so annoying and you don't want to increase the number of threads you're using just for the one color this is the perfect technique for that basically you're running a stitch behind all the x's you're going to make and that will kind of fill in some of the area that the white is showing through so as i was filling this you can probably already tell that i'm cutting out some of the finicky bits of finding the exact place to pull my needle through the cloth and so on um, but hopefully you can get the idea of what i am doing So it is better to realize that you need to trim to begin with, but if you realize afterwards that you're not liking how something's looking, you can just go underneath your stitches. This is more annoying, but it, it is better than having to stitch over the area with more threads. So it's a quick fix. And this is the area where I forgot to go back down and back up through the cloth. Um, it didn't make a huge difference because the X's were already there providing structure, but um, I would still recommend not doing what I just did. I just don't want to have to refilm this. And then you'll see that I'm using my nails to kind of move the stitches around so that it better takes advantage of the thread behind the stitches going in one direction. Kind of fluff them. This technique is so much easier on even weave because you're not trying to force your needle through the middle of the squares. It can make your counting more difficult because you're going between scare squares and you'll be having to keep that in mind, but it's not too bad. And again here, I'm trying to just fluff the squares into a better alignment because I pulled the thread under them and kind of moved them about. So here are just some more details about this technique. Anytime you can see the cloth coming through your stitches and you don't like how that looks, you can use this. I showed you black thread on white cloth. It's also great for a light thread on dark cloth. 
If you're having to do this technique with every single color in your pattern, you really should just add another thread when making your cross stitches. I know I don't like stitching with three strands because it doesn't allow me to do a loop start, but eh, it, it's still worth it to not have to deal with so much cloth showing through. And then the other thing is, is that if there's a general patch that is all kind of the same color, you can use just one thread color to trim behind it. Like if they're all fairly dark, you don't want to use the darkest thread. I found has had an issue sometimes, but second darkest usually works for me. But this might be something you want to experiment with a little bit yourself. So I hope that that has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any other additional questions about this technique, but thanks for watching.